Ooh, chapter 10, the Darkwater Police Station. With the help of Algernon, Pier of Algernon Drake, Pierce obtained the amulet and was supposed to protect Sarah Hawkins against the evil powers that covet her. The painter told him of her desire to track and kill the Dimensional Shambler in order to atone for her sins. Before Pierce could stop her, he was arrested by the police. All right. You know, I'm liking where the story's going. Um, I definitely like how suspicious it keeps me of everybody, even your boy B. Radley. Um, I still think he's going to turn into a weird tentacle monster at the end of the game. I'm just going to call it right now. You know, it's like that um, Syria during the uh, the Last Jedi that I was playing. Oh, no, not The Last Jedi. Jedi Fallen Order. And I was like, the whole time I was like, girlfriend, you are evil. And then she turns out to be a good guy and super cool at the end of the game. I'm expecting Bradley to do the same thing. I'm like, Bradley is not trustworthy. I do not intend to follow this man anywhere he goes. But I will bring him apart in case he turns into a good guy and does something great. But knowing the way this is going, I think he's going to turn into a bad guy anyway. So uh, let's go ahead into this madness. Okay. Is this where it becomes a shooter? No. You know, I've heard a lot about you, Mr. Pierce. Oh, All yeah? Good, I hope. It That's appears Dick that Pierce you've to been you. involved in a variety of misdemeanors since your arrival on Dark Water. Entering private property twice. Aggression. Insulting behavior. And to top it off, <laughs> Whoa. arson. What's wrong with my behavior? Um, yeah, Listen, shock cooperated you. I realize that I'm in your jurisdiction and that you don't like guys like me. However, I think that these accusations are exaggerated and that we would benefit from working together. Yeah, that I think so. That means a confession from you and therefore less paperwork for me than we've got a deal. I'm serious. Can't you see what's going on right under your nose? Yeah? So what's going on that I don't know about? Um, this one. Boom. You'd be better off taking an interest in Dr. Fuller. The experiments he carries out on his patients are as inhuman as they are illegal. And when Dr. Colden wanted to put a stop to it, she too went under the knife. What are you talking about? Nobody's reported any wrongdoings. Dr. Fuller is a man who is as much respected and admired on the island as he is in his profession. It seems like you've got a grievance against him. Is that why you set fire to his institute? I'm admitting nothing at all. Come on, I'll show you to your new residence. I'll be back later to ask you some questions. I hope all that right. you make the right choice and confess to everything. It would be as unpleasant for you as it would be for me if I had to adopt more advanced questioning. I have yeah, no especially since I haven't raised my strength. Good night, Mr. Pierce. I haven't raised my strength one bit, but uh, let me go ahead and start chanting my random words. What? The truth seeker. We meet at last. And my headphones is everywhere. Who's there? Yep. No. No, no. I don't like this. Oh, God. I really don't know. Oh, I don't like this at all. No. 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 No, no. I am the one men named Leviathan. Okay. Not because of the scale of my terrestrial form, but as a reminder of the immensity of my knowledge. That's actually kind of cool. I like that. Which I came to share with you. Human. Oh, uh, thank you? Yeah, I'm drowning, I'm dying. Do not struggle. You will not be able to speak or escape my influence. Um, hmm. Let's... Let's, let's try to speak. I told you to behave. You are here to accept the knowledge and follow the path that leads to your freedom. Okay. This is an offer that the likes of you 
particularly those with such rare characteristics, cannot refuse. The more you bend your human spirit to make it able to receive the truth, the closer you will come to embrace his power. I feel like I don't like this at all. Where is the Oracle, Truth Seeker? Would you like to see her? Hmm. Uh, yeah, let's refuse the knowledge. That'd be great. Your mind must open itself willingly, or the truth will immediately shatter it. Our paths shall cross again, Truth Seeker. Wait a second. Wait a second. You what? Know the risk, Sarah. Oh, it's Algernon. I was like, hold on. If you happen to use your powers again, you, you may lose more than your life. It is not about me, but innocent lives. I hope that your sources are reliable. The bootleggers have the painting. If the dimensional shambler is to appear, he will do it here. Oh. The shambler. Yep. I knew it. No. Not again. Oh, great. Algernon, come back. Okay. Um, I don't understand why you ran off. God, people. And what's over here? I'll go through here. Um, Where is Algernon and the Shambler? Who's that over there? Can we only climb down? I guess so. No way back. Hmm. I do have a light. I don't have a lighter though. Oh. Okay. What? What are we gonna? Hmm. Which is like a lot of dead people. Got a winch. Can't use that. Well, you know what? After the first whole chapter of being allowed to do anything, I don't really want to touch a whole lot, since I've been known to break things and fail things. Um. How many are there? How many are there? Huh. No, not gonna step on that. I can already feel the bad stuff happening. Oh god. There's Shambler painting. What's that gonna do for me? I'll never forgive myself for this painting. Yeah, I definitely think it was a bad idea. Without a shadow of a doubt. I don't have the dagger either. So what am I gonna do? Huh. Okay, what's this? Refills the... Oh, great. Okay. Well, I'm gonna need my, my friggin' lantern. That's for sure. Well, there's Algernon. Is Cat over there, too? That's the only other character I could think of. It's either you or me. No! What are you? No! Open! Open! Open up! Open this door! It's here. Oh, you didn't even try to shoot your gun. Oh, God. Well, this is really unfortunate.
the, the amount of backhands this man is receiving. Oh, great. Are you sure you want to do it? Let's go. Quickly, come with me. Okay. Uh, let's let's do it then. I suppose. There's no way this successfully just works. How do we kill it? The Shambler can open breaches between dimensions. He uses glyphs as anchors to stay in our world. Then I must destroy these glyphs. Exactly. Okay, I've How done this before. I will make the glyphs visible so you can revoke them. By doing so, this zone will be protected by a barrier. Perfect. Stay inside the shield. I'll create the protective barrier. Get back inside it as soon as you sense the slightest danger. Okay. I don't see a barrier. Oh god, the is that the glyph must have appeared somewhere on the floor. Is that the barrier? Okay. Wait. He's getting stronger and more aggressive. If he catches up with you, try blinding him. Okay. Find that symbol, Sarah. I'll it never should forgive react to the light if you painting. use your lamp. Oh, I see. Okay, so it's the same same idea. for the oil it's not like piercing my magic somewhere on the floor you better watch out for those holes I'm a looking I don't see anything there's another hole. The first huh. glyph must have appeared somewhere on the floor. There's another hole. There's another hole. Let me back up from my mic. Things gonna get a little bit uh a little bit quiet. Hopefully. On the floor. Symbol, Sarah. It should react to the light if you use your lamp. Mm. I'm definitely trying to see where it would be. Oh, here we go. The glyph. No. I can't move it. Is it acting against me? The ritual is working. Don't worry, it's just until I ward it off. Oh no. The Wanderer is back. What? Run! The second symbol has been revealed. Okay. You know what you have to do, Sarah. Yeah, where's it supposed to be, Chief? He's getting stronger and more aggressive. If he catches up with you, try blinding him. Okay. Where would the second one be? The second glyph must have appeared. Let's press on. Let me refill my lamp real quick. No hints, I see, Algernon. That's fine. That's okay. Um, hmm. Let's do. Someone must be here somewhere. Look closely. That is what I'm doing. Yeah, Algernon, come on. Don't be that guy. Well. 
saw that one just scratch my face. <sighs> my bad, didn't mean to scare everybody. I scared myself by punching that. The second glyph must have appeared. Let's press on. My face gets itchy when things get tense. You guys know this. It's a problem I have. Now, my, now the back of my hand is gonna itchy because things got tense. Because <laughs> I got punched. The symbol must be here somewhere. Look closely. That is what I'm doing. Hmm. I feel like I've made a full circle. Could it be up there? I don't know. What about in here? Almost all my fluids out. This is no good, I gotta go back. The symbol must be here somewhere. Look closely. That is what I'm doing. I don't think I need to have this out. While I walk around. Um Hmm. How many are there? The second symbol. Where would it be? I was the first. Must have appeared. Let's press on. There we go. Here, my dude. No, oh god. Uh, okay. Dang it. Okay, so he doesn't disappear right away. Okay, second symbol is what we're looking for. The second symbol has been revealed. You know what you have to do, Sarah. Yeah, I know. I know. Okay, so it's behind this. I was like, I had a feeling he was gonna pop out. I just thought I would be able to get rid of him really quick. What happens? Oh, it just slows him down. I see. The second glyph must have appeared. Let's press on. Okay. I have the impression the sham is trying to contain. Is he gonna pop out of this hole again? He's getting stronger and more aggressive. If he catches up with you, try blinding him. Okay, that's the second one. Fan no, let me move. Oh boy. Okay. Last one. Now is when matters get complicated. I must breach the barrier to ward off the creature. You have to lure it in front of me, Sarah. Do you understand? Once it goes after you, I need you to guide it towards me. Okay. Um, sure. Let's hope it pops out of this one. No. We're almost there, Sarah. Okay. Only one glyph left of Release me now! Algernon! Done! Quickly! Bring him towards me! What the fudge, Algernon? Come on, dog. You too slow, my man. Algernon, that was all your fault, dog. That was all your fault. All you had to do was let me go. Ah, jerk move, Algernon. Now I'm not naming my child after you, even though it's kind of a cool name. Okay. Get the lantern fluid. Good. He pops out of here. Oh. Do this. Do this. Algernon. Done. Quickly, bring him towards me.
There we go. Okay. Oh God. All right, well, there we go. Let's go, Sam. It's over. Thank goodness. I can hear him. He calls me. Sarah! No! Algernon. It's too late. Uh, don't be weird. Wait. Can't his amulet do something? Come on, Algernon, don't be completely useless. Great. I trust you with this amulet, and what do you do? A whole lot of nothing. I'm gonna play this game again. I ain't gonna give him the amulet. Let me tell you something about that. We're, psh, ridiculous. Uh, let's see. Oh, chapter 11. Darkwater Police Station. Sarah Hawkins, together with Algernon Drake, managed permanently to drive the dimensional shambler back at the end of the, force, at the first battle. However, this feat of strength cost her what was left of her self-awareness. She has succumbed to the call of the myth. See, this is the problem. You, uh, you can't, you can't trust Algernon with nothing. I'm gonna do this playthrough. I'm going to speak my uh, Cthulhu language. I'm going to uh, keep the pendant with me. That's that's my amulet. You can't have it. I found it. Um, I'm going to be super selfish the whole next time. Everyone's like, I was like, you know what? I'm going to depend on you, but now I'm just going to do me. You know, they're like, would you like the truth? And I go, yeah, you know what? Just give me the truth. Because everyone else can't, can't control themselves, apparently. Sarah Hawkins. Why did she do it? Damn it. Ridiculous. Did our guest enjoy our hospitality? Yeah, it's I. Out of here. Your oatmeal is kind of bland. Pierce, I want a short and clear-cut confession. I. Do you admit your guilt in the case brought before you? Yeah, your mom is pretty big. That's all I gotta say about that. On this Let's keep it moving. She That's fresh. what we we're talking about, right? Damn it! Not now. What is it this time? The bootleggers. Captain Fitzroy, Chief. Some guys have ransacked Roy's bar. They went berserk, attacked the patrons, smashed the place up. It's chaos. This is only the beginning. Let me out. <sighs> Let's go take a look. Tell Sullivan and Marshall to keep this one nice and warm till I get back. Uh, oh, yeah, you, you see my stupid. bed? I don't think oh, it even has two comforters, dog. You see how damp this place is? Look at oh, I at least need a God pillow. Damn idiot. Jesus Christ. All right, fine. I guess I'll just wait. Ugh, my back, my sciatica. Oh God, ah, oh, Jesus. I don't want it. I find you again. Yeah, it's not that hard. I'm not going anywhere. As promised, I come back to reiterate the offer of truth. As your mind expands and finally understands uh, what are you, the truth, what are you doing to my cell? Your perception is changing. You need to back it up. Are you ready to see your world and the ones that live in it as they truly are? No. Oh God, this is this is cheating. I can't read any of this Japanese. Come on, what am I supposed to do? Um, mm, this one. Dang it. I feel like I just made myself look like a jerk in front of like, the Leviathan. Ah, uh, great. Look, I don't want any of the weird face tentacles. Can we just both agree on that? Let me up! Uh... I never would have thought you so naive. It's all your fault. You could have stopped this whole thing. Your army buddies, the villagers, me. 
we're all in danger as long as you're alive. Oh, um, well, I don't want that out. Ah, uh, well, fudge. Hey, wait, that painting shouldn't be a, be a problem anymore. Just due to the fact that, uh, that was solved, right? I can't go to sleep. I keep having the same dream. Or should I say nightmare? I pain in my chest as if I was being skewered. Uh, yeah, you did get skewered, dog. I'm sorry. I mean, it's a pretty soothing voice. Although big and boomy, I don't know. Oh, well, now there's, now there's walls. Okay, well... Yes, very artistic brush strokes. Um, hmm. I guess let's leave the police station. Or I'm going back in my private investigator office. Or not. Who am I this time? Dom, what happened? Come, you'll want to hear what these two Egypts have to say. This better be interesting. Seems like someone decided to grant you your deepest wish. A mutant? Huh. <laughs> Worse, they killed Chief West. What? And left his body in one of our warehouses. You're kidding. They're all yours. Which one of you is dumb enough to kill a cop and throw him on my doorstep? Huh. We don't know nothing. The dead body in my warehouse disagrees. We swear, miss, it's not us. I don't have time for this. Spill it. We've got nothing to do with it. Hmm. Let's see. Let's try I that. I want to know everything about the corpse over there. Or I swear you will meet the same end. If we speak to you, we're dead. If we don't speak to you, we're dead. What? No! Listen, miss. We didn't see what happened, but we heard. Uh, noises and talkings, like... We've... been betrayed. By whom? Go, look at the body. You'll find out for yourself. Interesting. Hmm. Let's go, Dom. Where is this workshop? Let's take a look. I'll go with you. He must be talking about the old boat repair workshop. Release our friends, you bunch of pickaroons. Yeah. I don't think I've ever heard that insult, but I can't repeat it because I don't know how good or bad or hilarious that insult is. I have to look that up on my own time. Especially nowadays. Do you want me to settle it with some lead? Scurvy dog always threatening us. Quieten these hmm. lunkheads down before I shiv the lot of them. I'll take care of them. A bunch of liquor sponges aren't going to lay down the low round here. I'll take a look at this workshop. Join me when you're finished. Okay, let's see what we got. Um. Hmm. Can't go through here, it looks like. What do we have over here? Something on the... F no, nothing on the floor. No lighters or anything, so nothing that's going to be hidden from there. Um... Hmm... Let's see. You know what? Let's just open this door and see what happens. I think we'll be in a good spot. Or or not. Yep. I'm glad I didn't fail that. I'm uh <sighs> used to it by now. Someone oh. had told me that one day West's work would kill him. 
Let's see what happened around these parts. Someone moved the corpse here. Where did the murder happen? Hmm. Is there a blood trail I can follow? There is. He came from here. Let's see. There's another part of the trail. Did I lose it? No, it looks like it definitely came up these stairs. Huh. Looks like it came through here. So this is where West was killed. What's that? Yeah, I don't know what that is. What the fuck is that? Where did it That's come good. from? That's a good question. Um... E excuse you? He wasn't alone. Who were those guys? What is... What are these Cthulhu faces doing here? Those are not masks. These people... There's only one man who smokes these gaspers. Fitzroy. Oh, wait. Maybe it's a... Maybe it is a mask. I don't know. No. There's no way. Oh my god. You're not supposed to be here, truth seeker. Oh god. I have a gun. I have a gun. Oh god, there's zombies. Okay. Well, now we're armed and dangerous. I only had two bullets, are you kidding me? What, what good does that do? Give me a knife or something. Uh damn it. Gun. Okay. Pierce saw cats wearing discoveries through her eyes. While she was searching for the murder of a cop, she was attacked by some island inhabitants. Pierce has yet to find if she did make it. Okay, well I guess those aren't masks. Those are people who have been affected by the by the myth? Is that what we're going with here? Is this what's happening, folks? They just look like Cthulhu faces because they're affected by the myth. I'll take it. I'll take it. But I don't know what to think about it. 